Hey everyone, Brick Built Studios here. Today we are doing something a little bit different than our usual videos, and we'll be talking about a specific building technique called snot building. That's right, snot building. S N O T stands for studs not on top. This is when you're building with the studs facing any direction but up, left, right, bottom, at an angle, anything that's not simply stacking one brick on top of the other. This is a super common technique, you'll find it in thousands of Lego sets, and there are several different elements that can help you do this. We have some basic bricks with studs on the sides. There are a few variations in size and where the studs are located, such as on just one side or all four sides. We have Technic bricks. These have holes on the sides, allowing you to connect directly onto them. Hinges let you connect at more specific angles. This example is a simple clip and bar connection. There are also different types of plates, some that have studs directly added onto the sides. Others, like these brackets, have an extra face that bend down or up to provide a building surface. Finally, there are some more unconventional parts. One example is this fence. The holes in the lattice work are designed to fit right on top of the studs of a brick. Now what allows you to incorporate these pieces and techniques into models is math. Simple geometry. I won't be going into all the specific numbers in this video, but we are going to take a quick look at a few measurements. If we look at a standard brick or plate from the top, they're square, 8mm by 8mm. When we look at the side, it becomes clear it's not a perfect cube. So a brick is 9.6 millimeters tall, a little bit taller than it is wide. A plate, of course, is on the opposite spectrum. At 3.2 millimeters, it's much smaller than it is wide. You also might notice that these numbers do work together. 3.2 times 3 is 9.6, so that's why three plates is the same height as one brick. Additionally, if we go back and look at how these pieces are designed, the studs are not perfectly centered. Let's take a look at one of the most common snot pieces. The stud on the side of this brick is not quite in the middle. It's closer to the top than the bottom. Because of how these measurements add up, we can't simply stack these one on top of the other and put pieces on the side. If I try to do this, my program's telling me it's not possible. You can't do it in real life. It wouldn't work. The spacing on the studs does not correlate with the tubes underneath. So in order to fix this, we need to stagger the placement of bricks. The smallest possible way to do this is with two plates in between the bricks. Another option is two plates and two bricks. And another even larger way to do this is with four bricks in between. This same concept applies to most of the other parts that I showed you earlier. As you can see, you'll need a variety of combinations of bricks and plates to create the proper spacing. The only piece this doesn't apply to is this brick here. If we look at the placement of the studs, you can see why this works. Compared to our brick that we looked at earlier, the bottom of the stud is much closer to the bottom of the brick. And in fact, it's the same distance as the spacing between the top of this stud to the top of the brick. Additionally, this spacing on the top or bottom is half of the spacing in between the two studs. As a result, when you stack these bricks, you have the same space between studs 1 and 2 as you have between studs 2 and 3, 3 and 4, and so on. Now, in order to use these parts and avoid any gaps or strange placement, we need to look at some ratios. So let's take a look at a normal 1 by 2 brick. The length of these two studs is the same as five plates stacked on their sides. If we increase the size to a 1 by 6, it's the same thing. So we made the brick three times bigger, so our plates will also get multiplied by 3, up to 15 plates. And if you remember, one brick is the same as three plates, so we can divide that down and make it into five bricks. If we want to break this down into the smallest size, down to a single stud, it doesn't quite work as easily. The distance of one stud is not quite two plates, but also not quite three plates. What we end up needing is half of a plate. Now there is no half Lego plate, at least not in the standard sense. Brackets are one way to achieve this half plate. The part that extends up or down is thinner, as you can see, and that provides us with that half plate distance to equal the width of a brick. You can see as it all lines up nice and evenly here. All of this plays into the ability to build and create a nice solid finish. We're going to take a look at this 2x2 two two cube. Every side is 2 studs long. As we just saw, 2 studs should equal out to 5 plates. So let's break this down and see how it works. The width of the orange brick is 2.5 plates. We add on the half plate from the bracket, getting us up to 3. And then 2 more plates here on the side, which adds up to 5. The height starts with 1 plate on the bottom. We have one plate on top, and the brick, which is equivalent to three plates, adds up to five as well. So we can take this two by two tile, place it right on top, and you can see how it evenly lines up perfectly on all the sides. It gives us a nice smooth finish. 
We can play with these half plates a little bit more with these bricks, often called headlight bricks. The side is recessed in by half of a plate. By using a bracket, which extends half a plate, they essentially cancel each other out, which allows us to attach directly onto the side. The example seen here was used in the original Ghostbusters Ecto-1 set. We'll take one last example of using these half plate differences. Say we want to have a nice clean slope. Using these cheese wedges creates a problem. We either have this half stud lip sticking out on the bottom or up on the top. And we can eliminate this by using our headlight brick. By swapping between upright and on the side and a combination of plates and bricks to gradually increase the height, we can get a nice clean and flush look on our slope. This just touches on the surface of snot building. We'll go more into this and other techniques in future videos. And as with most techniques, you're not required to sit here and memorize these numbers and measurements to become an expert builder. The math is important and it does allow all sorts of variations in building, but what it comes down to is experimenting. Test out different combinations and try pieces in ways you may not have considered. The more you play, the more you learn. You'll pick up on these different techniques with time and will remember them as you're building. And that's the fun part about Lego bricks. Practice is playing. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more, and let us know what you would like to see us do in the future. Please be sure to check us out on Facebook for fun giveaways as well. We have new winners every week. And as always, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!